I think we can all agree that traveling in the nether sucks, so I'm gonna find a way to lava-proof boats in vanilla Minecraft. Last time we figured out how to build in the void in vanilla Minecraft, and these videos have been blowing up, so why not subscribe and keep it going? So if we just go somewhere in the world and set up a repeating command block that is always active, we're gonna set it to execute as all players at their locations, and if the block they are in is lava, and if there is an entity of type boat, within a distance of one block of the player, we're going to run the command to give that player, that player, a fire resistance for five seconds with a power of zero, and we're gonna hide the particles. Then we can go to lava level, find a spot to stand right here. We're going to summon a boat at our coordinates, and we're going to give it the properties no gravity, just like this. Now you can see if we push it out there, get in the boat, we are now in a lava boat and we have full control over everything we do. This is actually so much better, wow. But as you can see, the issue is that if I place a boat normally and try to drive in, uh, it just disintegrates and then you slowly die. So what I want to do is have the boats work in survival without you having to type any commands. And I want them to have the no gravity tag only if they're about to fall onto lava. And before we even do that, we need to figure out how to get rid of the fire particles on our bodies whenever we ride the boats because I mean, I know I'm hot, you don't have to remind me constantly. Now, sadly, the reason we need that fire resistance command block is because as you can see my hurt box is sticking out way below the boat it's still the normal size player hurt box even though i'm sitting down but that's just minecraft for you and seeing as there is literally no way to extinguish a player with commands in minecraft outside of plugins uh i think the only option we're gonna have is if i get a repeating command block right here and we execute as all players at their location if there is an entity of type equals boat in a distance of one to run, set block, our head, water. <laughs> and then of course we copy this, we make it a chain that's always active, and we replace the water over here with air. And hopefully, uh, I mean, this should be fine. Let me just make this toggleable. I mean, it's technically taking us off fire for a second at a time. It's a start, I guess. Maybe if we add a little bit of an extension between them, Maybe that'll do something. Let's make our boat. Oh, no. Wait, where, where, where are you going? What's the boat doing? Okay, so before I even try to figure out command block stuff, we should probably uh, make sure that this water can even extinguish us. So let me float in here. And, uh, no. This, ac this actually, oh, I guess because we're still in the lava. So this literally just can't work. Okay, let's make sure it's not only the head. If we do the body too... Uh, that'll just mess with the boat. Oh, goodbye. Let's just stick with fire resistance. I think that's fine. But now it's time for the hard part, which is making boats freeze whenever they're about to hit lava. And if you're wondering why this is hard, I literally break the game trying to figure this out. And so I made this little testing area to start working on things. And what's been going the best so far is this one command over here, which all it does is anytime it finds a boat that's above lava, it will just change the tags so that it doesn't have gravity. It has the tag of a lava boat just to save one leg, and it makes it invulnerable in case it somehow touches the lava. As you can see, if I go over here and go for a test, I'll place a boat, I'll drop in, and I can go over the lava, uh, except there's one small flaw where if I leave, uh, I still uh, go on a little journey over here. And the reason I went from the side is because if you go straight into the lava, uh, it works, but only at the bottom of the lava pool. I guess you can have a little lava submarine down here. It's pretty neat. So let's add our command block right here and drop into the depths of the nether with our new submarine. See how far we go. It's just basically whenever we hit the first block. And now we just, uh... Now maybe this isn't so great. But there are only two options to get the boat to not go under the lava. One is to let it go under the lava and rise it back up. And the other is just to completely stop it the second it hits it. And I think the easier one, as far as I can tell, might be rising it back up. So what I did was anytime we find a lava boat over here with lava underneath it, it just adds vertical motion upwards. And then anytime there's not lava underneath it, as you can see over here, it removes the vertical motion upwards. So if I get my boat out and ride it into the lava, just like this, you can see we still sink. It's great. But then you get out of the boat and it slowly rises back up. And I mean, I guess that kind of works as long as you just get out and get back in. 
It's just that Minecraft boats are super, super glitchy if players are in them and you can't move them while players are in them. Like I can't even like walk on this. But I wanna try editing the position of the boat directly instead of just adding a speed to it. So let's execute as all entities of type boat within distance of three blocks, I suppose. We're going to run the command to data entity or data merge entity, same entity. And what we are going to change is the position like this. And let's do zero D, zero D, zero D. Sure, that's just a good test right there. So we place our button, we get our boat, and that should teleport it. But then if we get in the boat, it, it doesn't it doesn't work. And now I have eight glow ink sacks. Wait, what? What? Why is it? What? Wait, 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 wait. What's hap What's happening? What is, what's happening? Oh, whoa, no. What? What? <laughs> Place a boat. Press it. I have 10 glow ink sacks. What? They're gone. They're over here. I can't pick them up. I can pick them up. Wait. What, what did I discover? <laughs> okay, we're going to uh, rejoin the world. And by the way, all these command block worlds take a very long time to save. It's kind of funny. We're gonna rejoin the world and we're in the void. What? They're above me? What? How am I negative 60 and not taking, oh, okay. Let's not mess with the position of the boats. Okay, I lied. So I retyped it and I put the exact coordinates of right above the command block because maybe it was just, I had really weird coordinates. And so if I press this, the boat just kind of jumps up on there. And then if I get in it, uh, nothing, nothing happens. Why does, why does nothing happen? Why is this so complicated? Just jump on the thing. Oh Lord, he coming. Why is this so satisfying? I don't get it. Oh wait, did I just make a circle? Yo, <laughs> did I just accidentally make a circle in Minecraft? Okay, one more time for fun. This is fun, I like this. Imagine if that did work though, you just press a button and see like 30 of your friends in boats flying over the horizon over to your command block. What's really annoying is all we really need to do is just set the motion to zero so that it stops moving whenever we turn it into a lava boat. But as you can see, like if I get out of it, that works. I mean, it's a little high, but whatever. But if I'm in it, then it just doesn't work. Like why did, why are players such such a big hassle? So how about instead of trying to move boats up, we just try to stop them before they even go into lava with some obsidian or whatever. And so let's just try this out. And that just doesn't work. Let's turn on the command block and try it out. And that just doesn't work. Let's try it a third time and it just doesn't work. Although it is fun to watch the boats rise up out of the lava. It's pretty, it's always fun. You know what they say, fourth time's the charm. And this actually is working. Okay, so let's just copy this block, change it to a repeating command block, and instead of obsidian, change it back to lava immediately. And hopefully this is fast enough that it doesn't really matter. Nope, it's just staying obsidian, okay. So let's leave on the thing that turns the boats into lava boats, except replace obsidian with end portal frames, because it's a weird block that won't be used like accidentally and break things. And then also it is a little bit smaller, so it should line up better. And I forgot to turn on the command blocks. There we go, let's try again. And no. So it did make the end portal frame, it just, didn't make it in the right spot, I guess as we were moving forwards. But if we manage to fall straight down, then yeah, we should be fine. And we have a proper lava boat like this. It's even like in the lava level there. You saw I bumped with these little lips right here. So if we have the boat touch lava, that lava turns into an end portal frame. And if the boat is in the same block as an end portal frame, it turns into a lava boat and removes the end portal frame. And I think that makes sense. So let's try it. And that really got my hopes up for a second. It kind of worked. Why did it stop? So whole new theory altogether. This time we're gonna add an objective for a boat timer so that whenever we set the block underneath it to an end portal frame, we can wait a little bit before turning it back to lava instead of turning it immediately. So we're gonna have it run up the timer. Whoops. We're going to set the timer to five. And then once that timer is zero, we're gonna replace. And we also just wanna tick down that timer one every tick. So now you see if we get our boat, we get in, we drop in, and it worked. Okay. <laughs> and now the moment of truth. Is it good from taller heights? 
Uh, no. All right. So this time, instead of just setting the block below it to an in portal frame, we are filling all the blocks around it with in portal frames. And I lowered the timer to one because I think five was just way too much. So let's go. And this should work from normal height. Okay. And let's try from the taller height. Oh, I think that worked. Okay. And now let's try from an even taller height. I I think we got it. Sorry if my voice sounds weird. It's uh, very early in the morning. Now comes the fun part where I can break all the, the old useless things that didn't work the way we want. Uh, I'll keep this one. Yay. So now everything to make lava boats is right here. All you got to do is turn it on. And then once again, one more test just because it's fun. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So let's kill ourselves right here and now let's paste all of these in our spawn chunk right here and now that we're in the nether we should be able to still get our command blocks to work so let's drop our boat in and wait what happened it appears that this command block is just not running properly maybe i just needed was it a world that it glitch maybe i don't really know what else it could be it's just something weird with the dimensions unless it's a world that it oh oh okay <laughs> okay, it works. There we go. Now nether fortresses are like launch pads, like the flight strips for planes. Oh, this is cool. I like this a lot. This is fun. 